Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forudek. This is my Poco X2 running with the Android 14 base custom ROM Apollo OS. It's my experimental device to test all the new Snapdragon drivers. As you all know that I always try the new latest Snapdragon drivers released by the different developers for any Snapdragon devices for all OEMs like OnePlus, Realme, Poco, Xiaomi, etc. I already created dedicated playlist of all Snapdragon drivers videos. You can check it from the video description. Our last video was for latest Snapdragon version 767 drivers by the developer Trigi. But today we brought you the latest version 782 drivers extracted from the latest Quest Pro VR headset device by the Meta. Running with the Snapdragon XR2 Plus supported with the Adreno 650. But this driver should work for any Magix or the Canvas rooted device. But this time we got the TWRP flashable zip by the developers and it should work without root. But I can't guarantee it will work for all the devices with or without root. I had successfully installed it on the Poco X2 with the root access. Today in this video we will actually compare the performance difference between the version 767 and version 782 while different performance testing. So you can confirm does it make the sense to upgrade your device GPU drivers. These drivers are working fine with the root on the POCO X2 but at the end of this video we will see these drivers will work without root using the TWRP drivers or not. So I request you to watch this video till end without skipping any part of this video to avoid any further complications. Now without further ado, let's get started. As I already told in the intro of this video, we will compare the old version 767 with this new version 782 drivers. I already installed the version 767 drivers on my Poco S2 by Magix root method. I already did all the performance tests like NT2 benchmark, Geekbench with GPU and the 3D mark test with the old drivers. Now we will first install the new version 782 drivers, then we will do all the mentioned tests and then we will compare the results with the old drivers. Installation of these new drivers is simple if you are using Magix or the Kernels root access and you are using any kind of old drivers then you have to first uninstall these drivers from the Magix. Next you have to download any one from these three types of drivers. I mostly recommend you to use the last SQV782 drivers if you are using the Magix root. You can also use the old FS file which are mostly recommended to use with the Kernels support which will help to change the drivers without modding the system partition. If you are non-rooted, then don't use this TWRP flashable V72 drivers. Please only use these drivers after watching the video part given in the timeline of the video. That will decide whether to use or not the TWRP drivers. So I am using the Magix route. I choose the last Magix driver from the list. I flashed it to our Magix root and rebooted the device. After the device got booted, our device drivers got updated to the latest OpenGL ES 3.2 at the rate V782 dated 11th June 2024 and the Hulkan drivers are also updated to version 782. I did all the performance state that I already mentioned. I will not show them here again to avoid the waste of the time. Let's directly compare the performance difference between the old V767 watts new version 782 drivers. First is the comparison for the Antutu benchmark. Old version 767 given with the Antutu benchmark score of 3,19,431 and with new V782 I got the score of 3,35,169. I am showing you the results via screenshot that I taken after a performance test, so it's a massive difference of 16,000 points. Next for the OpenGL drivers in the Geekbench performance testing, I didn't got any major performance uplift by using the new drivers. The scores for the old and the new drivers are nearly same, they are 1257 and 1267 respectively. I can't able to test the Hulkan API results because Geekbench not responding after installation of both old and new drivers. Let's check out the results of most authentic GPU performance testing application that is 3D Mark. For wildlife stress test, here we got the results with the old drivers 
for the best loops are 1 to double 8 and for the least loop the results are 1 to 8 1. For new drivers we got the score of 1314 for the best loop and 1235 for the least loop. So the big improvement you can check for the wild lap test using the new drivers here. For slingshot extreme with the version 767 we got the score of 2452 for the Vulcan API and 2523 for the OpenGL. While for the new drivers we got the score of 2577 for the OpenGL and 2648 for the Vulcan API. Here again the slight improvement has been recorded with the new drivers. Last but not least for the wildlife old drivers given the results of 1309 and with the new drivers score somewhat downgraded to 999. So except the wildlife test all other GPU tests shown the slight or the major improvement in the performance score. So finally you can confirm the new drivers will definitely improve your device GPU in comparison with the old version of drivers that is version 767. Now the main question arises which lots of users ask me in every video can you use these drivers without root is there any way then answer is yes you can flash these drivers who are TWRP without root. In the video description I have given the link of separate TWRP flashable zip of these drivers but I never recommend you to use these with the TWRP because it will work or it may not for all the devices. Please note this is another important step. Please keep your current device firmware file which should be TWRP fashionable which can be helpful if something goes wrong to revive your device. Let's check out why I wonder you all here. When I removed the Magix and unrooted device to try the new TWRP zip file. Here you can check my device is downgraded to the oldest uh, driver version. Then I booted to the TWRP to flash the flashable driver zip. To flash this we need to first mount the vendor partition. For that go to the mount section, then check mark the vendor partition, then tap install, locate the TWRP flashable driver zip file and flash it so the driver got successfully flashed here. Let's check out if the device boots or not. Even after 20 minutes device didn't boot it after flashing the TWRP driver files. So for Pokex 2 it's not compatible. So you have to test it yourself if this is booting without the root YTWRP or not for your device. But if it didn't boot it and went into the boot loop then what is solution? In such case you need your device firmware which should be flashable by TWRP that I already told you before the start of flashing of TWRP flashable driver file. So I already downloaded and placed my Apollo OS full ROM zip file in internal storage before start of this tutorial. Now it's not booting so just force reboot the device into the TWRP again, tap install and dirty flash your device firmware. Instead of this you can also make one provision before flashing the driver zip to avoid the bootloop issue. Just take the TWRP backup of vendor partition and if device bootloops restore the original vendor via TWRP restoration process. Your device will boot back to the original ROM without data loss. So if you are in a adventurous like me then you can try TWRP driver zip file process to check if you can able to use these drivers without root. Please mention in the comment section if you tried this and your device successfully booted with the new TWRP flashable zip drivers. You can also flash the overlay FS file via Magix Manager and it will also work for the kernel zoom manager. If you ask me in the real world users does these drivers improve the gaming performance then answer is yes for me on Poco X2 my BGMI gameplay seems significantly improved. On my POCO X2, the gaming graphics quality, touch response and fluidity are better than before. I did the intensive testing of such drivers from last 3 years. From the date on which my most popular video got a viral, you can check that video from the link given under the video description. On the basis of this testing, I can surely confirm in the real world and the numerical world, updating your GPU driver is the best way to improve your gaming experience on the older or newer devices which has older GPU driver versions. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content, for upgrading your Snapdragon GPU drivers. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.